Hi everybody and welcome to tonight's Supplier Showcase. I'm Olivia, I'll be guiding you through this evening, joined by the wonderful Lee Brown. Now, as marketing coordinator here at the venue, uh, I get the pleasure of looking through all of the amazing wedding albums that come in. So if you sent in a wedding album, thank you so much because it makes my job absolutely amazing. Um, I love looking through all of the pictures, whether it be as people are walking down the aisle or dancing away on the dance floor at night. Every picture just is an amazing memory for mem the weddings that take place here. So, one gentleman who does know how important it is to capture beautiful photographs is Lee Brown, who is joining us this evening to talk through how to capture the perfect photo for your day. Without further ado, let's bring on Lee. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> how, are you? how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Enjoying uh, enjoying a little bit of downtime, but yeah, it's. Uh... Yeah, it's all, it's all right. It's all right. How, how are you guys? What have you been getting up to during this time? Well, um, gosh, not a lot of weddings, really. Um, I did uh, I did one a couple of weeks ago, which was which was quite quite bizarre. A little bit of prayer, nice outdoor ceremony for like I think there was gosh about twenty people, um, and then a little bit of a little bit of afternoon portraits and things. But uh, yeah, mostly it's been a lot of other stuff, like um, a lot of family time. I mean, my little boy turned three in in May, so that was really nice, and it's just been nice to spend an awful lot of time with with my wife, and my family, and things. So my little boy. Um, I've been doing other things as well, like um, you know, I got into the whole doorstep photography um, sort of craze, and that sort of graduated into garden portraits. Uh, you know, as the lockdown lifted slightly, so that's been quite nice to get out and do. Uh, you know, working with people and photographing people has, has been a lot of fun. Um, I've done a bit of commercial photography as well. Um, I, I kind of did that before weddings, so I kind of ramped it up a little bit to see see what had happened, uh, and I got a couple of jobs through with that, which was quite nice. Uh, I bought a hammock too, which is uh, which was, has been great. It's been nice to sit in the garden and just sort of like look at the sky and just sort of you know just enjoy some some time you know to uh, to actually you know live your life a bit because in like the last 10 years i've hardly had any real time off um you know i might have had a week here and there but it's mostly been weddings every weekend which is which has been great but uh yeah it's been it's been nice to uh sort of have a little bit of downtime um as well uh so yeah i've, I've quite enjoyed little bits here and there and things um so yeah always nice to have a break isn't it but we're definitely missing weddings now that's <laughs> yeah yeah getting a little bit uh you know antsy and kind of like thinking will i forget what i what, what I actually need to do and things uh, or you know how to take pictures but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back into it that's for sure definitely now you mentioned what a little bit about what you did before wedding so tell us <laughs> tell us a little bit about you and tell us a little bit how you got into photography yeah, so um, I, I met my wife back in like 2000 and then a couple of years later, uh, she was doing fashion at university. So I kind of like got into helping her with with taking pictures of her work and photography with that and things. And then I was at college myself and I kind of got to a point where I was like, I need to make a decision now what I'm going to do with myself. So um, she kind of suggested maybe doing photography. So, so I did. Um, I managed to uh, do um, my degree in photography, which was great fun. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I kind of got to a point where I was like, right, what do I do now? So, uh, you know, when I finished my degree, so I was going to go into teaching initially um, and I applied for my PGCE and was going to do uh, high school arts, which would have been like ridiculously hard working with high school kids um so i also got a like an interview alongside that um with, with working in a portrait studio so photographing families and animals and all sorts of things like that so i actually i left the the, the pgce and then i um went and uh and, and worked in the portrait studio and that's kind of how it got me into weddings um you know working working with them so and it's been really nice because working with families and things and consistently having to perform like get getting great pictures every hour regardless of how the kids or the adults feel towards you as a person and um, you know it's been a real sort of uh, great skill to merge into weddings because you know it's this it's kind of like it's very similar you know you don't know how people are going to react to you you know families and things like that so you kind of have to learn how to work with people um, and that's the majority of what my day is you know taking pictures you know it's still a big part but it's mostly working with people um, which is which is kind of helps me get what I get I suppose um, from from weddings 
So yeah. Definitely. So speaking <laughs> of weddings then, Lee, what sort of packages do you offer for people? So I do one main package uh, and that's the late night collection package. Um, and basically that's, that's a digital only package. Um, where you get the wedding day coverage, obviously a full edit of, of all these selected images, um, and then you get a, like a, an online gallery to download the pictures from. Um, so the coverage on the day usually starts in the morning, usually about three hours before your ceremony. Um, you know, I shoot all the prep, um, try and spend some time with the bride and the groom, or the groom and the groom, or the bride and the bride. Um, and then obviously your ceremony, capture all that, all your afternoon. Um, and then I work right up until probably about 10, 11 o'clock at night, um, just depending on what's going on, really. And I find like one of the best parts is the the party in the evening. So that's why I kind of stay quite late. Um, so that's the, the main package that I offer. And then I also offer some combination packages as well, where you can add on things like albums and all sorts of things like that, second photographers and, and things. But yeah, the late night collection is the main sort of uh, package and, and everything else kind of can be added on as, as you want to. And of course, you are currently hosting a very exciting competition. Aren't yes, you? yes. So there's one week left to enter. So on the 1st of September, uh, a, very look, look, uh, a very lucky couple were in my late night collection and an album as well, uh, which is worth uh, around about £2,000, which is pretty cool. Um, but for those who also like enter uh, but don't win but still are interested in making a booking with me, they get a free album as part of their package, which is kind of like a nice thank you for supporting the, the competition and a small business business and you know it's just something nice extra to have um you know so yeah seven seven days to go roughly first of september it's being drawn so yeah check out uh, i'll be going probably sharing that on instagram stories or like facebook live or something so yeah check it out but enter you can enter via the website if you're interested in actually taking part it's uh, it's a good competition so if you're watching it, it's definitely worth entering. I think it's a fantastic competition to offer. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You definitely get on to Lee about that one. Don't miss out. <laughs> so Lee, you, you shoot many, many weddings. How many, so roughly, do you shoot? Because I know you shoot quite a lot of heat and house, don't you? Yeah, so um, I shoot anything from 40 to 50 weddings a year. I mean, it's summer is usually really busy like spring summer is quite busy but um you know I, I can shoot anything up to about 60 if like i can like find space in in winter or like the space in between you know the seasons and, and things and i think this year gosh i was i was due to shoot around seven or eight at, at heaton house farm and um you know some of those have been moved, moved around a little bit so uh, i haven't lost any which has been great so i'm just looking forward to getting back into it and getting back to heaton house farm as well to uh, to shoot those weddings um so, yeah, we we can't wait to have you back shooting weddings late. We really, really can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fun. Now, but now we're hopefully, we've got lots of couples that are going to be joining us tonight that are looking for ten potentially for a photographer. So tell them a little bit, how what's the booking process like with you? Sure. So I always try uh, in advance of actually making a booking and um, chatting to the couple in some way. So be it like in person or uh, over Skype. Skype seems to be very popular at the minute or chatting over the phone, you know, it's quite nice too. Um, just so we kind of get a bit of a rapport. Um, you know, they learn about a, a bit about me and my personality and I learn a, bit, a little bit about them as well. Um, and then obviously if they're interested in making a booking, um, you know, they can um, they get some, send some pre-contract information because I'm quite, I'm one of these people who's quite sort of transparent with with how they work and their business uh, you know operations and things so there's no like hidden surprises or anything I'm very upfront about everything I um, I sort of offer um, so then once they um, are happy with all the pre-contract information which basically goes over things like you know terms and conditions um, the contract terms uh, what they're buying into their consumer rights and all sorts of details like that they can they can pay a booking fee and that's 300 pounds um, and that's um, refundable up to 14 days um, uh, in which time afterwards it becomes non-refundable just because uh, you know it covers things like loss or cancellation and, and things like that um, and then once they paid that they get sent a pre um, like a, a contract to sign um, and a questionnaire as well just to go over like uh, you know their ideas and their plans and, and things and what their what's their sort of thoughts are with different sort of aspects of photography and things just so I get a bit more of a feel for who they are and what they're looking for really um, and it's, it's quite sort of easy going and simple it's all kind of done digitally nowadays there's nothing sent in the post it's all it's all really easy yeah simple Sounds great. It's really good to get to know the couples beforehand. Obviously, photography Absolutely. is such a huge part of the day. So really, yeah, really important to get to know your photographer as well, which is great. 
hopefully people will get to know you a, lot, a little bit better tonight as well. Which is always <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> now, do you offer, so obviously you've got like the garden shoots you've been doing. Do you offer yeah. any additional services such as sort of pre-wedding shoots, engagement shoots, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. So there's lots of different things you can add onto your package, like a pre-wedding shoot, for example. And that's really great for, for people who are particularly nervous about having their picture taken because uh, it can, can be quite an intense sort of portrait session. Um, so we usually meet at the venue or maybe like somewhere that means something to them, like a park or where they got engaged, for example. Um, and we just spend an hour of just wandering around, taking pictures, chatting, um, and just sort of like getting to know each other a little bit. Because on the wedding day, you know, I spend an awful lot of time around you or with you so you know it's nice to have that sort of introduction and then on the wedding day you're not like oh it's the photographer you know that kind of feeling you want you want to kind of be like you know blend in a little bit more so that's not like that's, you're going to be there with a big photographer hat on and yeah you know, yeah well, big yellow fluorescent jacket and yeah, everything like I that a guest nowadays so i i usually the only part the way the only way that people know i'm i take pictures is you know the little cameras that i have attached to me and even they're quite a very they're very discreet and quiet nowadays so yeah people don't always realize that you know i'm 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 actually there to take pictures um so that's one thing you can have and um, there's things like customized guest books that you can add on as well uh second photographers uh which are quite nice for example if um um say uh, you've got obviously um the, the couple in the morning if you want one um if you want me with one of them and then the other the other one wants capturing as well then that is something you can add on to i mean i try and spend some time with both of you in the morning but it is it is nice to have one photographer with one person one photographer with the other so you're not missing anything really and then for example it's nice to have a second um a second perspective during the ceremony and then they sort of tend to capture a lot of the mingling um that i'm if i'm off doing portraits or or group pictures you know with family and things you know it's nice for them to catch up but it's not essential i shoot maybe like five weddings out of 50 with a second photographer and it's usually specifically if they want like preparations capturing in the morning um so yeah that's something else you can have another it's popular have the option. Option. Uh, yeah absolutely it's, it's nice to have you know just uh, just in case um another interesting one i have and this this only like really comes up in like um well it came up on new year's eve this year just gone and that's an end of the night package so i usually stay till like literally like when you're packing everything up and like you know you're stumbling back to your room and stuff and it's it's nice to to get that i mean the new year's eve was a little bit different because you captured all of that that celebration and like i was there till probably about one two o'clock in the morning um so yeah that, that was pretty nice to, to capture i don't get that an awful lot because i think a lot of people think you know that doesn't photograph well but uh yeah it's, it's something you know interesting to add on if you think you're gonna have an amazing party so yeah that's good to have um really good idea like um like a usb keepsake box um so if you if you did want uh, like a digital little um you know usb with all your pictures on you can have that and you get like a set of prints with that too which is um which is quite nice and obviously albums as well you know if someone wants an album they can have that on too which is uh nice to have good sounds really good sounds really interesting now i know we've got a couple of people that have joined us this evening um i must first do a shout out to my uh, <laughs> My wonderful parents who are tuned in pretty much every week. So <laughs> hi, Anthony and Gaynor. Thank hi, you for joining the game tonight. And we've got Marie from Butterfly Events who said hello. Oh, hi. said hello. And oh. also Andy Griffiths Photography has also <laughs> said hello. Um, and lots of couples that have got a couple of questions and things for you as well for the end. Right. So if you do have a question for Lee, obviously there's lots and lots uh, of questions to ask photographers, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. But we are going to do a live Q&A with them at the end. So feel free to pop it in the comments. Or if you just want to say hi and have me read your name out, make me sound famous, of course, then uh, do just say hello in the comments and I will give you a cheeky shout out. All sure. right. But, yeah. but for now, we'll carry on. I've got a couple more questions for you, Lee. Sure. So you've mentioned uh, like USB sticks and things. Is that how you provide the photos back to your couples or is it more of like an online thing? How does that work? Yeah, nowadays, like it's, it's mostly online because a lot of like um, a lot of computers and things, uh, laptops and stuff, they don't always come with USBs anymore. So it's kind of like how CDs were like maybe five, five, six years ago. It's slowly being phased out. So I find that, you know, a lot of people, they it's easier to view and share online. That's the most significant thing nowadays it's the sharing so like how basically people receive their pictures is uh it's like a dedicated dedicated web page on my website 
um, with obviously details on how they can view uh, the full online gallery, plus a slideshow as well, which is quite nice to have. So it's like all of their images from their wedding day set to some music. Um, and then that's nice to watch first, like a mini film. And then they can click through to their online gallery, which is um, which is their dedicated private gallery. So um, it's not password protected, but it is it is like they share it who with whoever they want, and they kind of like have control over that. So like people can't like go on there and download pictures for themselves, for example. Only the couple can do that. So it is quite secure that way, but it's designed to be easily accessible to everyone, because you know like auntie whoever in Australia, you know, might want to view the pictures and, you know, you don't want to have to like post off a USB or something like that. Um, you know, it's nice to view them online nowadays. Um, it so, yeah. just makes it so much accessible for Absolutely. people. It's just meant to be just really easy, you know, really simple to use and, and stuff. So, yeah, plus it's online definitely. So if people lost like their USB, you know, they have to contact their photographer. But with this being online, you know, they just redownload the redownload the pictures um you know and they don't need to like get in touch or anything it's just there yeah it's just there waiting just so you know if you're talking about your daughter's wedding at work i can imagine my mum doing this you can get, just get the link straight in and full album easily absolutely. done absolutely now i'm going to ask you a really tough question lee sure that's okay now you've told us a lot about your background which is fantastic you've got your commercial photography etc what would you say your style of photography is now? Sure. So it kind of evolved really from the beginning uh, when I first started, you know, as, as these things usually do. But my, my style nowadays, it's, it's mostly it's mostly very what you call documentary, which is basically just observing and watching the day. I mean, you know, you get you get a lot of photographers who kind of do a lot of portraits and a lot of posy stuff. But but myself, the way I've kind of like got into and my style is 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 very documentary now, so it's quite it's quite sort of hands off, really. I mean, there's certain parts of the day that you know do need a little bit more sort of organisation. For example, pictures with your family or like some portraits and where you want to go and things. But most of the time, it's just me like following and watching and just taking people who have just you know taking people who have pictures of people just enjoying themselves. Um, really. So, I mean, I, I try and blend in with the guests, as I, as I said before. And if people ignore me or like they don't remember me being there, then that's fine. That's kind of like I feel like I've done my job. Um, so, but I'm very much guided by the couple as well. You know, a lot of people do like a lot of posy pictures and things. And you know, if that's what they want, then fine. You know, that's 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 great. And I'll, I'm there to I'm there for them. You know, I work for them, so uh, it's whatever they want me to do, really. But um, my natural default position is just watching you know the day kind of unfold really um but i you know i mean the worst the worst kind of situations i've had is is like when i've been to friends weddings and like the photographer's taking them away for hours and things or like and you're just, you're just a little bit bored so you know pictures with the with the couple it's usually my maybe like 10 to 20 minutes before a meal and then like you might have some really nice golden sun in the evening so it's nice to go out for maybe 10 minutes after that and then when it's a little bit darker you can get a little bit more creative with the lighting and things and you know do some portraits just to sort of really nicely finish off their their story um so it's a bit of a, a bit of a mix but it's mostly documentary nowadays that i kind of like go for just and i have seen some of those golden shots that you've taken in the sunset ah, yeah. they are pretty phenomenal so yeah, uh, yeah sunset very was very nice it was pretty special i have to admit now, we're seeing on the screen at the moment a couple of uh, the ceremony photos from uh, yeah, the beautiful beautiful wedding uh, yeah. but what's your favorite part of the day to capture so it's, it's, it's a difficult question, probably more difficult than the last question, but there's the three like main parts that I really enjoy. So, uh, for example, the prep in the morning is really nice to capture. And that's more than anything really important to um, get to know the bridal party, get to know the parents. Um, and sort of like uh, establish or set the standard for for how you're going to be throughout the day. Um, so you just kind of reassure them a little bit because sometimes the parents don't meet you, the bridal party don't meet you in advance. So it's nice for them to see how you work and then, you know, they don't come up to you and ask you to do certain things or like if you've missed something or or something like that, you know, you can they kind of trust you a little bit more. So it's nice to nice to capture that. 
And then um, usually just after the ceremony, your drinks reception is great to capture um, just because it's all the, you know, the excitement of getting married and, you know, having some drinks and just saying hi to all your guests and stuff who are there for you because they love you and they just want to say congratulations and things. And, and, and that's just lovely to, you know, to capture. Um, and then obviously the party in the evening, which is one of the best parts because everyone's let go a little bit and they've had a couple of drinks and you know they're ready to, to have a good dance and things and um yeah that's one of the that's one of the main parts i love just and that's why i stay so late with with, with the couple you know 10 11 o'clock at night and there's no limit to that really because you know leaving just after the first dance you know in my view that's just the wrong thing really you know you want to be there well into the party because that's one of the most significant parts uh, in my opinion because the couple don't always get to see it they're off like dancing themselves or like they're chatting to friends and evening guests and stuff so it's nice for them to capture to capture it in it and usually some of the most in interesting things happen in the evening you know like people getting drunk and chatting to each other and falling over and you know just just letting go you know it's, it's really great to capture so yeah those those three those three bits. <laughs> love it. I love your style. Dance floor pictures That's are it. always brilliant. The best way to shoot a dance floor is from the inside out rather than the outside in. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you can be on the dance floor. Side conga lines or, you know, um, you know, in the middle of like, uh, just in the middle of the action. You know, it's great. It's great fun. So what you're telling us is you're going to be in the conga line yes. taking the photos. Yeah, one hand, one hand on the conga line, one hand in the air. <laughs> <laughs> but to, so there's going to be couples here. I've got, I've got a couple of questions coming up. But where's the best place for them to see your sort of previous work? I know we're showing some of our beautiful shots that you've done here. Uh, but where where else can they see some of your? So the best thing nowadays is Instagram, you know, it's, it's the big thing. Uh, Facebook's still quite good, but it's kind of like Instagram's the, uh, you know, the hot, the hot sort of uh, service to use at the minute. And it's great because it's a full portfolio on there. So like usually your photographers put their best images on there um, and using the stories as well. It's nice because like you put a bit of your personality into it too. So it's nice to get to know the photographer a little bit that way. And you can kind of interact with them directly, you know, through Instagram. Um, so that's really nice to have. Um, obviously, Facebook's still quite good for seeing like collections of pictures that, you know, you might put on there. And then obviously the website as well. And um, that's great too, because, you know, I still blog like throughout the lockdown. I, I blogged every week just to have a little bit of normality and a little bit of routine, you know, because before you knew it, it was like Monday to, and then it was Friday. So it's nice to have, you know, that little bit of normality. And um, so, yeah, the website's still really relevant to, uh, to use as a resource for looking at weddings and things. So, that website yeah. where everyone's going to be entering your competition as well. Yeah. So yeah. I'll keep, keep right mentioning that one. <laughs> I'm not quite mastered TikTok yet, so uh, Instagram, Instagram's the thing. <laughs> no, no TikToks. <laughs> right, oh dear, in. but right, um, <laughs> not good, not good. No. So, if a couple, obviously, once after the wedding's all taken place, uh, roughly, how long should people expect their photos back from you? Sure. So it kind of depends on the time of year more than anything. Um, usually around about four to six weeks when it's a little bit quieter. Um, but during summer and like those later months, it can be up to like eight to 12 weeks. And that's just because, you know, the sheer amount of work that we have to do basically after the wedding, you know, all the editing and things that can take a little bit of time. Um, but I'm always very sort of like uh, I always communicate with my couples and make sure they've got a, you know, an accurate timeline of when everything's going to be delivered and stuff. And it's usually well earlier than that. But it's kind of like you have to leave a bit of a buffer because, you know, you've also got life <laughs> that kind of gets in the way sometimes. But um, I always do like... Um, uh, previews um either the same day so during like the meal for example while you're eating your your food i'll do a, a couple of um a couple of previews that i can then airdrop to the couple's phone the same day um or they get like something the day after and it's usually like 30 to 50 pictures that they can then put on their social media share with their friends and family um and uh, you know it's good to have that as opposed to like a mate's picture of like you coming down the aisle blurred or like the back of you or, or something like that it's, it's nice to have something you know a little bit more polished straight after um yeah, and it keeps you kind of like keeps you going until the final set's ready so yeah but that's the thing isn't it now social media is so important to beat everybody at getting the pic that that one beautiful i mean this is a stunning picture yeah 
an example but, yeah. of the golden sunshine that comes over Hutton House Farm. And uh, yeah. if I remember right, like, I think it had been quite stormy before that, and it had just really nicely cleared because you've got obviously a little bit of detail in the uh, in the clouds still. Yeah, look at those moody clouds. Look at that. Um, yeah, we were quite lucky. And I think I basically like ran up to the couple during the pudding and I was like, look at the sunshine outside. Come on, come outside. <laughs> and they like ran after me. So, there is uh, definitely uh, one thing that we cannot do and it is control the weather, unfortunately. Yeah, but when you get skies like that, that is summer, summertime for you. It is, really, yeah. really is. Now, we're obviously, we do have some couples that are maybe a little bit camera shy. Do you have any sort of advice for those that are thinking, oh, you know, I don't know if I can have a photographer all day or what would you what would you say to those absolutely so like number one meet your photographer just chat to them get to know them a little bit and if you don't like them find another photographer you do like it's really really important to go for that that perfect person who sort of mirrors your personality a little bit and he's going to be you know who you're going to enjoy spending the day with uh because you know you will be spending the day with them but on the on the day if you still feel a little bit nervous um you know Think about the pre-wedding shoot. Um, doing something like that will certainly take the nerves away a little bit. But then on the wedding day, just ignore your photographer because that's that's what they're there for. They're there to capture whatever happens. But if you like keep looking at them nervously or you know you you feel their presence around you uh, too much, then it will sort of heighten your nervousness a bit. So just ignore them. You know that's that it's kind of like the best thing to do. Um, during portraits, that's particularly when people feel a little bit nervous because like you know hugging your partner for an hour. Or, or whatever your photographer takes you out for, is, isn't is something you usually do. Well, a lot of couples don't do that. Um, well, I, I don't do that with my wife, <laughs> just like stand hugging up for an hour. Um, <laughs> I should be like, get away. Um, so um, yeah, just talk to each other, just like chat about the wedding, keep it lighthearted. I mean, I've had some couples who I've been, I've said to like, have a chat with each other, just 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 talk. And they're there talking about Auntie, Auntie Norma who's kicking up a fuss because there's no seat for a dinner table. So keep it lighthearted and just sort of like, you know, just the really nice parts of your day, you just sort of talk about them. Um, and you know, the rest will come naturally you know you just you just sort of spend time with each other and just just enjoy it just enjoy it just smile you. and be happy yeah, which yeah. i'm sure you will be on your wedding day so that's um, all good if you do struggle and i i especially I, I say this especially you know i'll talk to you as well you know i'm not just going to leave you sort of hanging just stood there looking at each other awkwardly i'll talk to you i'll chat about who you are and like how you met or just like really irrelevant stuff that might make you you know forget about what you're doing a little bit so you kind of you just enjoying it a little bit more without thinking of the, the formality of, of a wedding um you know and you're just two people you know and that reaction that that sort of relationship and reaction between you both that's that's one of the main things to capture with a wedding really really important now i've only got one more question for lee so if you do have any questions please pop them in the comments box now uh, and then we can always ask them after i finish this one but probably my favorite question lee because obviously you know i do love heat and house farm I'm sure yeah. you do. But what's right. your favorite place to capture photos here? There's so many. So Yeah. That's again, that's another difficult question. I think there's a few different places that I really love. And it, it's it's obviously dependent on the couple too, because some couples choose Heat and House Farm because they love the farm setting. Some choose Heat and House Farm because they love the garden and all like the um, you know, the, uh, some love it just because of the landscapes and things. So you, you're very much guided by the couple. So there are you know lots of different lovely little areas that I, I really like to use. Like the garden's really lovely, and it's all really always really nicely manicured. You always do a really good job with that. Um, uh, you know the the scenery and the the big is it an oak tree? I, I kind I kind of forget. Like, it's a sycamore tree. Yeah. So that's really nice to capture in all the different seasons because it's quite an iconic part of the grounds. Um, so that's that's nice to capture. And, um, you know, all the different sort of farmy areas as well, which are really nice, you know, like the big barn doors and all sort of little little sort of farm style areas are, are really nice to capture too. So, yeah, it's difficult to choose one. Um, I'd say probably the, the thing I love the most is the scenery. So the big wide landscape shots and, and that sort of really – you know, sells sells that place uh, for for me anyway. Um, so it is cool. always amazing driving to work and driving through all the countryside fields. Yeah. Just make sure and, yeah. It still does me, and I've been here for five and a half years, so yeah. I'm sure on your wedding day you will still get that feeling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
it's just nice to wow. wander as well. You know, again, it's coming back to that forgetting the formality um, of, of a wedding and just, you know, enjoying the simplicity of, of a nice bit of scenery. Exactly. It really, really is. Now, Lee, you must be so loved in your industry because we've had so many people say hello to you tonight. We've had Steve and Sandra from SMH. Oh, no. hello. <laughs> You've also had Sarah Meredith makeup while she was here as well. She was oh, yeah. she, she did the makeup for one of our ceremonies this, this weekend. Oh, right. So, yeah, lots of hellos. We must be very, very loved. It's nice. Oh, thanks, everyone. And then we're now going to have just a couple of uh, questions pop up on the screen, I hope. Here we go. So we've got Jen. Hi, Jen. She can't wait for May 2021. And Hi, Jen. And take the wedding day photos. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. Great fun. Can't Aww. wait. Can't wait to shoot some weddings. Just can't wait to get back into a bit of normality, really. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Good fun. Counting down the days for you, Jen. Yes, we are. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And then Paul. Hi, Hi Paul. Paul. Hi, everyone. You're shooting our wedding in December and we need you to help us out. Oh, is it we're trying to stage the perfect confetti shot after the ceremony? We can't. Absolutely. So the best thing to do after um, straight after the ceremony, I found, and this is a tip I picked up from, from a few other people, um, is you'll come out of your ceremony. I'm guessing you're getting married in, in, inside, whether it be in December. <laughs> um, and what I tend to do is I get you guys to walk straight up the aisle and I get you to kind of go and hide somewhere for a couple of minutes. Because if you come straight out of your ceremony and stand there and wait for your guests, each one of your guests is going to want to come up to you and say congratulations and like spend a minute with you or so. If you've got 80 guests, that can be like a good half an hour, 40 minutes. And then kind of like the excitement from just after the ceremony is lost a little bit. So if you go and hide, get all your, your best men and your ushers and your bridesmaids to uh, to gather all your guests outside somewhere or, or, or wherever you want to do your confetti shot. And then get them armed with like a big box of confetti. Those little cones, they're nice, but like usually when you throw it, you throw it like that and it like comes, goes all over you first. And then you kind of throw and it's just like a tiny little that comes out. So a big box of confetti that you can grab a big handful of for each of your guests is great. Cause then you'll come out of your hiding, uh, your hiding spot, you'll walk through, you know, the two lines of people and they'll throw confetti all over you and you'll just be delighted. You'll look, you'll look great. You'll have this great big smile on your face. And then, you know, I can capture that as well. And it's just, you know, keeping that energy up post ceremony is really important for your confetti shot. And then everyone can pounce on you and say hi and congratulations. But yeah, and we can help you. We can help you sneak around too. So don't worry, we can help Lee with that. And uh, so you can sneak through and then be ready to go back out before the. That's it. But definitely have a confetti shot. It's really, really great to have. Really great to have. They are lovely. It's it's nice with them. So as long as this confetti is biodegradable, of course, to protect awesome. our environment. Some, some people have nice, um, sort of dried, you know, petals as well. That's quite a nice. Yeah, thing. absolutely. Which is really really nice. I hope that helps, Paul. But uh, we are here if you need us for anything else. Um, hi, Alice. So sorry if it's already been mentioned, but we we're just wondering where folks could take it if the weather was really bad. Ah, yes, the uh, the good old uh, British weather. So like, there's some really nice parts of Fiend House Farm that you can use. I mean, it's mainly you mainly mainly guided by light. So like, um, you know, I've taken in the ceremony room, usually like just after the ceremony, you'll go into the bar area and you'll have like your drinks reception in there. And usually like the chairs and things are taken out of the, uh, the ceremony room. So then you can go back into that room and use it, for example, pictures with your family and, you know, couple pictures. And you just have to get a little bit more creative with what you do. So, you know, it'd be more about like portraits of you and your partner together and little intimate moments rather than the big sweeping landscapes. Um, but it comes down to how brave you're feeling as well. So for example, if it's absolutely bouncing, then like you're probably not gonna wanna go outside. But if the way the rain's a little bit lighter, just throw on some wellies, get a colorful umbrella or something and go with the whole farm theme, you know, where your hunters and stuff and get out there because you'll look back on your pictures and you might have a little bit of a wet dress, but you'll be like, look at how great that picture was. That was our wedding day. Look how good we look, even though it was raining rather than, 
you don't want to be disappointed and be like, oh, I wish we'd gone out. I wish I'd just been that little bit more brave and gone out into the weather. So, yeah, unless it's bouncing, <laughs> then you're probably okay to go out and do anything. I mean, I shot a wedding back in December, a couple of, I think it was like last year or the year before, at Heaton House Farm, and that couple just went out. They had wellies, they went out, got their brollies and stuff, and it was it was great, and they loved it. You know, so um, we have yeah. also got a couple of areas um, which are under porch. So the we've got the beautiful porchway uh, oh, as you yeah. enter the venue, which has some phenomenal photos taken um, facing that, and also the pagoda, which is one of our ceremony options out the back. Uh, we have had a few where it's been raining that have tucked under there, and we've got some beautiful, beautiful shots under there also. Uh, so yeah, we can we can come up with different things. I mean, Lee's really super creative, so he'll get in quirky shots for you as well. Um, so yeah, definitely lots of options that we can do for you. So never have to worry about the weather here. Um, we'll always sort something to make it so you've got beautiful, beautiful shots. Yeah, absolutely. Not to worry about. We've had it before with torrential rain, and the, the photo album is still beautiful. So oh, absolutely, yeah. You can't you can't predict it. You can't buy it. I mean, I've shot weddings in August where it's thrown it down all day, and I've shot weddings in like January when it's been like blazing sunshine and stuff. It's just odd <laughs> just one of them we just have to deal with whatever we get on the day oh, which, yeah we don't i mean in december them, we have the trees as well like in december we've got the christmas trees in so we make that nice yeah. little family shoots around the christmas trees and things so it's always just an option use, use your environment so it's it's sort of fullest really and you know how to do it lee so it's all good <laughs> Now, I believe that's all for tonight. Uh, Paul said thank you very much. So you're very welcome, Paul. We're here to help. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, actually, that's all out for questions, Lee. Thank you very much. Lovely. You're very welcome. It's been... Didn't uh... bite too much. <laughs> no, I've enjoyed it. It's been great fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we are actually taking a week off from doing the supplier showcase next week with it being bank holiday. The team are very, very kindly at letting us uh, have the Monday evening off, which is great. <laughs> But we will be back on the 7th of September with the wonderful Katie from Venue Perfection, who does venue dressing throughout. She's done it for many, many years here. Beautiful, beautiful setup. So definitely worth tuning in and seeing what Katie has to say about dressing the venue. But from us, that's all then, Lee. We'll, uh, we'll head off now. Cool. Lovely. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't sure. <laughs> 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 these live events oh, but no oh, thank you everybody for joining and i hope you've enjoyed it any questions please pop them in and lee and i will go through them afterwards so oh, that's yeah. about goodbye from us take care bye bye everyone bye.